Hello, hello. Hello, YouTube of the future. Since I am now actually on a system to actually upload these streams. I was expecting there to be a little bit of music, but there's just... It's a little more normal. I might put in my headphones. Sounds weird talking without them. I'll probably just plug them into my computer. Which doesn't really make a difference. Because <laughs> it's just making the sounds of the notifications if they pop up. Um. In that case, that's better. <clears throat> Welcome, you Tubelians. You were here waiting for the waiting period. You're probably used to it by now. Hmm. I realized that Streamlabs lied to me. I thought that there hadn't been any new. Actually, maybe I just forgot. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. I've had some followers in between streams. Hmm. Well, in case you're watching, thank you to Ropesnake10, who might have been there last time, Dear Lambs, Inky Octopi, NitroBat1234, Oms018, and Pimp Diddly Daddy. Fun one. Hello, Meep! <clears throat> actually, I could explain what's going on on the stream, but actually, it's in the, in the title. As my, fa my face goes a horrible yellow tone. We're playing some Super Mario Odyssey, because I have some qualms with this game, but I also wish to quench the qualms with this game. And I forget that the mic, the mic, the, 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 the webcam's not over there, it's over there over this time. Hello Fang, I'm afraid you are not first. Uh, the Snow Kingdom, great. So, a little bit of backstory, I guess. Thank you for joining, hello Sped. It's odd that you guys are all like a sort of, well, I mean, it's only two minute delay, but I just want to know what people's like reaction times are. Um, Super Mario Odyssey is what we're playing today on this new, slightly new layout of the whole screen flipped because I'm looking at this screen, so I need to look towards the screen. Basic media stuff. I do not like this game, but there's some context behind it. Um, and while I'm there, I'm gonna like linger around Muffin Kingdom for a bit because I never actually touched it. Literally, when I got here, I was like, great, I'm done, I'm out. And I just sort of, I left. Hello, Rope Snake. So, also, this is my proper opportunity to, I guess, to get acquainted with the game. I'm gonna take a single headphone off because it looks nice. I'll give you that. And when this game came out, everyone loved it. And I was in a certain point in my life when, I, when this game came out. I need to stop leaning towards the mic so much. Unless there's audio issues, in which case, let me know. Um, but with this game, I feel better without being able to hear my voice echoing around the whole room. I just need the volume up, I guess. Uh, give me a second. When this game came out, I was doing some changes on my Let's Play channel. And one of the things that... Oh, uh, the volume went away. One of the things that involved was turning off the computer monitor. Um... I was basically, I wanted to play more modern games because views were going down. Um, I just at that point 100% completed uh, Breath of the Wild. And I was like, great, there's another new one. I want to play it. It's new. I should play it. I'll play it for the stream. So I did. And that is actually on my Let's Play channel if you want to find it. Um, but in doing that, I wasn't able to hear the game if I had headphones plugged into it. Um, so I had to... Or if I had my headphones plugged in, it wouldn't play in the audio of the my recording device. So I decided, okay, cool, I will play the game with no sound. And that greatly sort of took away from the whole experience, because this game probably, or well, it does, it sounds pretty good, but I didn't know it. So as I was playing through this game, I had a deeply, like amputated experience with it and I just didn't enjoy it plus I have some genuine 
criticisms of the game that no one else seems to have or no one else talks about I don't know so it got to the point where once I finished the game I was like great I've hit the most basic milestone I completed the story I'm not gonna play anymore um, but then I did know that there are two extra kingdoms in the post game and I was like oh maybe I'll play them one day especially because I know that they are they're more akin to the the more hardcore fans you know it's the harder harder challenges kind of thing which is a bit more my style there we go see I can I can work puzzles even though I couldn't when I originally played the game um so this is my like going through it for now working out you know maybe I will enjoy this game because recently my housemate Alex if you know him he was um playing through this game for fun I had this switch set up downstairs for a good long while and I felt like, as I was watching him play it again, and I hadn't played the game myself for like a year, I was like, all these criticisms I had when I first played it are there. They are still very much problems that I dislike. And Alex actually as well, he's, he's quite the critic. He's quite the cynical person. He had similar thoughts on a few things. Not many. I didn't tell him most of my criticisms because I wanted him to actually play and enjoy the game a bit. He doesn't play games very often. Um, but that's, you know, and so I went through it and I was like, this game is better with some sound. But I've still got a few qualms. But I want to I wanna quench them and work out what, what I actually think. So instead of like going for a goal, I'm playing it more casually. I want to just exp experience the post game because I might enjoy the later parts more than the normal parts. And if I still don't like it, I'll make a video that's literally just going to be titled I don't like Mario Galaxy. And then everyone will insult me for it and I'll get loads of views. And I can make some interesting conversations to see if people genuinely disagree on every point and I'm like the sole incorrect person in the world. Or if people feel the same, no one ever mentions it. Because people put this game on a pedestal now, as much as I haven't actually touched the Mushroom Kingdom, I know a little bit of it because I watched my housemate roam around it. He's been doing the post game, and it actually looks more fun because there's moons everywhere, which I will get to soon. But I didn't watch him play the whole game or the post game, so I don't actually know a lot of things that will be that we will be covering this stream. I imagine. So I will come back to being hopefully impressed with this game a bit. But that's what's going on. I do remember Troy 0024. Is that you, Rope Snake? I don't know. Um, I was originally going to play this game 100% from the beginning again. I figured I don't want to put in that time. Like, it takes eight hours to finish this game or something. It took me two streams and I'd had enough. I don't want to go through that again. I imagine the first eight hours are the worst eight hours. I'm optimistic in thinking that it's going to get better. Now, before I go on anymore, has there been any issues with um, audio? No one seems to have said anything, so I assume it's fine. But I feel like if I check, I'm going to be like micromanaging it for way too long. Hello. I hate to be back home again, but now I'm on my long trip. Keep seeing from a whole new point of view. Now I have my adventure gear, but for now I'll be back. Hey, one more power move for you. I got that technically spoiled because I just, I would have actually probably enjoyed that. The fact that there's the Super Mario 64 stars, but oh well, that's how this kingdom works. Um, there's a few things I want to do and I don't know how which order to do them in. Let's just go to the castle. We haven't done that yet. There's a big glowing light and I know what's in it. Hello, Streven. Hello, Fang. You are a, per you are a positive person, so you personally enjoyed it, but hey, opinions are opinions. Yeah. And I'm kind of trying to target them. What I was going to do when I did the 100% let's play was write down a list of all my criticisms and bring it up in a video. I still might, but we will see. All the news, Mario! Princess Peach has gone missing again! She packed her suitcase, happy as can be, and walked off! We can't find her anywhere. Where is she? You hear audio cutting out every so often for a short periods of time and I can't tell if it's just me. It might be just you. I've heard audio clipping, but I'm assuming it's just me and my lag. Rope Snake 10, 3 bits even. Rope Snake 10, 3 bits. This game is fun. Well, I'm glad you think so. Opinions are opinions. Uh, let me look at my audio, because it might be something we just have to live with. Opinions 
opinion. Uh, let me look at my audio. Hargy darg darg. This audio issue is you. It is me. It's my recording setup, which I had fixed this morning. My my switch and my stuff that records it seems to have an issue now. I can I can record smoothly. I can't stream smoothly from the sounds of things. It's what's going on is it's running, it's outputting at not 30 frames, not 60 frames, and the audio is following that frame rate. And I have done everything under the sun to fix it. Even had someone help me and he said, I have idea. Um, some kind of broadband issue that just, I don't know. Um, you can live with it? Yeah. I think that means that I won't be I was thinking now I've got my Switch, if it works, I'll play some Xenoblade Chronicles 2 one stream, but looks like that dream is dead. You're just gonna have to live with this audio, I'm afraid. I'll try and fix it in between streams, but it's... We even bought a new Elgato to try and fix it. Didn't work. Now you have to lose all your money. Um, you've got some Power Moons, I know you've got one. Rescue Princess Peach. Okay. Done. She's not needing to be saved, but sure. You can already see the moons. I'll add some hints to Power Moon list. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's actually one here. Rest Princess Peach from Bowser? I imagine that means there's a lot of boss rushing in this. I can't read that. Ground Pound Instructor. Dig up Power Moons by Ground Pounding. Okay, well, whatever. We need 250 Power Moons to get to the next kingdom. And we have most of them already. I have like 50 left. Because I think I spent another couple of streams. Do you have more to say? Just collecting stuff. You achieve something new. How? For Power Moon Knight for having enough? I don't know what I did. The No Collecting World Tour. Oh! Did to does Toadette have all of them? Did I, did I meet Captain Toad in every kingdom? This is a bit ridiculous, but okay. Slots machine. Don't remember the context at all. Hello, Rope Snake. Thank you for the host. Hello, Pikmin Master. Thank you for joining us as I'm just matching A and succeeding in the game. Capturing Apprentice. I is it just like... Why was I not getting these before? Are you just doubling up on the moons I've already gotten? Like, uh, does she own half the moons and she gives you another one for all the others? I'm gonna have to like... I don't know. When I considered... Oh, there we go, finally. When I considered doing a 100 run, I was gonna get one of those official guides and like get every single moon. But I think, I think people would get bored of it eventually and I probably would too. That was the same as before. So, let's go and do some mission-y things, shall we? This kingdom also works as a boss rush because every boss likes being shown twice. If, I don't know if they're actually harder this time, probably not. But let's start with this guy, with a proper Super Mario 64 reference. Probably my favourite boss, even though he's Mr. Generic Handsy Man. Mostly because I like his animation on his hands. I think it's animated on twos, or in specific poses. I like it a lot. When it's actually doing poses and not moving like an actual game. Ah, there is a little bit of extra. Well, good on you. Why? Ah, this is why. Good, good, good. I forgot which button was the Y button. Hello, Shadow White. Thank you for joining us. I gotta ask, does any does anyone here not like Super Mario Odyssey? Does anyone here does everyone have the same opinion? Is Super Mario Odyssey the greatest game? Or just a good 3D Mario game? Is it a great 3D Mario game? Or is it just good? What are people's thoughts? I imagine I am the vast minority. Because I didn't hear many people... Ah, oh, shoot, it does converge in the middle. Um, I haven't heard many people complaining about it. 
You know, like, Breath of the Wild, loads of people were complaining about it. Everyone had a criticism. I am guessing the controls. Uh, good job I played Galaxy. Um, but like this game, I heard not a, not a peep. Everyone being like, this is the greatest 3D Mario game ever. Hello Meep, thank you for the 10 bits. What are some of your complaints? Thank you for asking, because I've forgotten all of them since the stream started. Um, Here's one for you. Why is the major next moon just three moons? This seems uninteresting to me. Like I get that it's only you're only collecting power moons, but it's like, wow, it's three of them put together. At least this one looks a bit more bananery than anything else, because they're in the Mushroom Kingdom and they should be stars. Why is it called a multi moon? What kind of boring name? Multi moon. These are the nitpicky ones because I can't remember the major ones. Like in Super Mario Galaxy, you get your power stars and you get your grand stars, and your grand stars really feel like something. The multi moons. I'd rather just get three normal moons. The boss is fun, sure, but like, just give me one moon for it. I, I, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be value, but I'm, I'm not that. There are no other collectibles, so it's not like they've got a choice, but even still. Scarecrow guy's not throwing me off. Oh, you, that's what he's usually designed for. Okay. Classic Super Mario 64 reference, there's a Yoshi up top. Alright. That's not how you do that. Oh, is that how you do it? I, yeah, honestly, I just mash the buttons when I end up doing this half the time. What is the... What is dive again? How do you... What was that? Was it forwards and ground pound? And hat? Because I've usually just mashed it and sometimes I... Yeah, it's the same button as ground pound. Well, that... No wonder I'm making issues there. Do it, I'll do it another day. You know what? I bet it's this guy. No, it's not. No, there. Am I supposed to just stand on the, the windows to get up top, maybe? Oh, you know what? It looks like that's actually the plot here. This is the kind of chill stream you're in for now. Oh, there wasn't a thing up here. Well, okay. Who needs it? Ooh. Use Yoshi. Oh, excuse me. Did it my own way. course, <laughs> because Yoshi, uh, Mario would never want to ride Yoshi in this game. Why on earth would he do that? He could just control the guy. Oh. I mean, I guess I like that it's got the Super Mario Sunshine song voices. I'm making them more. I think I'm now just trying to nitpick because I've forgotten all my, my thoughts, but oh well. Let's just go back to the other place. I don't want to deal with the on top of the castle anymore. And Yoshi's gone. Well, great. <laughs> Hello, Pikmin123456. I see you're high, and I thank you for a thousand bits. That was literally my entire bit goal at the top. Just done. So thank you for that. 
I'm glad you enjoyed me struggling on a castle for five minutes, if not longer. You started- hello, uh, first of all, hello Captain Garbanzo. Hey guys, you started streaming exactly the same time that I rage quit Dark Souls 3. Thanks. Well, fair enough. I have never played a Dark Souls game. I would probably be interested in it as much as I am not ready for the, the soul-crushing element that I will inevitably have to feel. Um, I don't know the back of the castle. I didn't see my friend do that. So, uh, what's the get out button? ZL? Why? I guess that's crouch. That almost makes sense. Hmm. Mario Odyssey is the best as... is the best as much as Mario 64, says Bagman Crew. My apologies for the delay on saying everyone's thing. I'm distracted. Okay, so Yoshi was not designed for the castle part. Gotcha. Um, can we... Alright, Yoshi was also not designed for that part, surely. He doesn't exist on the water. Oh, you unplug it, I guess. Like Super Mario 64. Yeah, okay. How can this toad tell what I am? We'll be doing a fair bit of Mushroom Kingdom, and then probably the other kingdoms as I find more power moons, and then we'll take on the dark sides, because that's what I want to do. That it, uh, that it is our plan. The whole buying moon for coins was what I read from earlier from Sped. Yes, you're right. Why is that? Apparently I read that there's 880 power moons in this game if you don't count the ones in the shops. Does that mean... Am I misreading that? Was that, was that misinformation? Or is there literally, like, 119 power moons you have to buy? Because that's bad game design. I don't like that. That sounds like someone gave up on the 900s, the 900 power, 999 power moon locations, you know? If Breath of the Wild managed to do it, I mean, I, they only had 20 more Korok seeds than this game has power moons, but you get the idea. Tutty 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 tut. Oops. Why is this on a timer? What's the point? Not a hard challenge. Beware, if you're watching the stream, you're gonna have to deal with my general negativity. But it's, it's kind of not genuine complaints, it's just me asking questions. Thank you, Pikmin, for another 40 bits. What? Alright. I'm not gonna complain. Thank you very much. That's all there is to say. You never thought about the multi moons that way, so how would you make a grand star type of collectible out of it then? I would not know. But I think just. Or I'd imagine it to be one think a giant moon that's worth three or worth five. A big moon feels better than just three bundled together, because it feels like I'm just picking off fruits off a tree. And I guess they went for multi moon because it's alliteration, but why not like a moon bundle? A bundle of moons. I don't know. You can buy optional shot moons. You can buy an infinite number of moons after you beat the game. Oh, really? Right. <laughs> Let's see if I can work out the closest thing to Dark Souls and how to uh, defeat it. I forgot that this whole land was icy, unless it wasn't. And that's the extra challenge. In which case, I like it. His, blade, his sword blades remind me of Bayonetta, somehow. Uh, wait, what's the logic in that? Why didn't it give me full health for the fight? I should be able to get some health. There usually is health around these bosses, or is that not going to let me do that this time? It will! Thank goodness! Um, yeah, I'll get a set patch. Oh, they apparently need it. How am I supposed to predict it at this range?
Oh. The ice got me. Also, did I actually walk in with two health? I will fight this guy again. He's a fun boss. Kind of. He looks fun. I don't like that transition. That was something I didn't realise when I first played it, but when I watched my friend play it, I was like, what is that? Why is the transition just some smooth semi-circle curve across the screen? It looks like when I've made a mistake when I'm trying to key, uh, mask something in Premiere Pro. Like it's, <laughs> that's the kind of thing I made by mistake. Okay, he does stop with the electricity, and I'll just not get close to him, does it? Noted, I figured it would be a constant streak. I've dropped the Joy-Con. There we go, it never touched the ground. Good. Oh, just the same as last time. Lovely. So, give me your electric easy buzz. Alright, yeah, this feels a bit more doable. Ah, uh, not that bad. <laughs> now you see, for once I'm actually listening to this game with sound. This guy sounds generic. He's just generic evil orchestra. But I think he's the only one, right? Rules had a had a, a goofy theme. I actually realized I didn't realize how fun sound could make something, because the Brutals sound a lot more entertaining and you can hear them screaming the whole time. Like the female one that's screeching the whole time. That's way more fun. Their gameplay was just as boring fighting against them, but... Oh, the sounds they made were good. I'm gonna try this one more time. I am not well prepped for the dark side. I tell you what. bit already. How... Mario... I guess it was at an awkward angle, I wasn't sure. Not maybe having sound is one reason you don't like the game? You're right! Yes! And I completely agree with you. It's probably the first start. But I do have other criticisms, even when I've watched it. Um, I never realised... So... You know what, I... Well, I was going to say it anecdotally as I got to like the different kingdoms, but it looks like we'll be going straight to the dark side after this. With how many moves it's given me out already. Hello, Almighty Bean. Thank you for the resub. The resub prime for 11 months. It's almost been a year. Oh, good lord. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it as always. But, um... There's one kingdom, my least favourite kingdom. Looks alright. Like, level design probably uh, it's okay. Um, and style, the like art design is really nice. Nice sunset, yada yada yada. Not a big fan of all the gameplay game. But the whole kingdom in context I despise. And then there's a mini gimmick inside. I've forgotten what it's called. Is it the forgotten one? The, the hidden one? The one where you lose Cappy. Oh, don't kill me here. Thank you. Get out of here. I don't like how it's formatted, because it's exactly the same issue I have with Luigi's Mansion 2, where it's not progressing you, it's stopping you and making you do this first before you take a step forwards. So it's like it takes you back a step and makes you go along a detour. I didn't like that. And the cap mechanic specifically is exactly the same. It takes away your privileges, makes you do a run around loot till you get cap back. So I don't like that whole kingdom. Just write it all off. That's one of my big major ones. 
You'd think I'd have a complaint that there's a super hyper realistic uh, dragon in this game. Eh, not too bad. There is also a hyper realistic T Rex that seems to be in every kingdom that I only found like once or twice. Um, my housemate found like three or four of them. That's okay. It's goofy, it's fun. I would have loved it as a kid. I can't, I'm not gonna bash that too much. Um, damn right, I'm gonna buy something with all these coins because they're everywhere and easy to find. Uh, now let me at least go down here and discover some things. Hello, hello, someone else is hosting? Pigmin Wonder Viva 56, what a surprise! Ah, <laughs> oh, Mr. Guy today is here. I re I've realized only recently, I think I saw it in like a video essay, how to, what you do with the female Goomba. You're supposed to collect a pile of Goombas until you're high enough to be in, in eye line with them, I think? Or I think I just saw them like starting it getting like close to them and going from there so you know what I will join in in this fuffle and get my first Goomba moon. Moomba. Okay cool there is a run button. It's not a fast run button but it's a run button. In fact it's a, it's a horribly slow run button but it is a run button. Great. Do we like destroy her heart now? Like, yes, she, she scattered away. That was right. I remember doing that the first time. Cool. And then she appears again. Is she happy? She is. Well, good for her. I don't think the boys noticed, but it's fine. Right. I want to go this guy away because there is a. Oh. Hold on. I say he's, he's wearing the flocky hat. Nice one. Oh, was that what I saw? The yellow? That was probably the yellow blip. I thought there was a, like a, a star in, in, the, in the digging. In the dirt. To be dug up. Ugh. I didn't know that. What, the Goombas or something else? The burning king, the forgotten kingdom doesn't appear in the post game. It does, technically. There is more with the bird. In because now that we've completed the story, we get the <coughs> the moonstone thingies. And they give us an underground section for every kingdom, I believe. In the for Forgotten Kingdom, it gives you an underground area there, and in it the whole gimmick is the same thing again. I won't be getting that moon. Oh, I like this one. I again have seen this in videos, usually in the background. Oh, I thought I said, want to give up a moon. Excuse me. Oh. That is not the right thing. Aye. That's half a Goomba. I do like how, though, this game- oh yeah, it hides it. Of course it does, I, I completely forgot that. Well, no. I went to rotate and I pressed the wrong button. Um, that was too high. No! Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I have to do his mouth as well. He's not gonna give it me because I put his eye in his armpit, but beyond that, you know, kind of alright. So it passes, so we're going with it. Thank you, Bagman crew, for resubbing for three months. Do you think there should be more of the Ruined Kingdom? Yes. I guess that could be fun. It's only a boss area, but yeah, it'd be fun if they expanded it a bit more. An eye in the armpit. Don't matter about it. Napple a day, as they say. Basically, Mario. Well, good. I'm glad that went as well as it did. Now, is this death? Why doesn't it take me back to the kingdom? I'm clearly just up in the... Okay. All oh, right, yes, of course, I have to go higher up. To go down. Gotcha. Streven, yes it was. That was the joke. Kind of... Well, it's not really subtle, but yes, that was the whole point of it. Wow, that one... Oh. Yeah, okay, cool. I was gonna say, is that the whole bit? Where's my hat? Oh. Well, I don't know how to do that in time. Oh, it's a, it's a flower. It's a, it's, a re it's a rocket flower, isn't it? Uh, how many moons do I have? What is one line? Ten? So we've got twenty, and I need, I think, like, fifty-two? I needed fifty-two before I got six? So I need, like, forty-four? I've got twenty? Okay. Here's one more corner of Mushroom Kingdom that I haven't touched. Actually, there is a few more. Oh, it's this kind of thing. Gotcha. I do not know how to capture it. I'll be honest. Okay, I do actually have to touch it to do that. Cool. <laughs> it is Galaxy. There's a lot of references. This is the reference kingdom. Well, that actually, that's my friend's complaint. He was like, it's cool and all that it's banking on nostalgia, but as a guy that didn't play these Mario games back in the day, there's too much nostalgia. They play a new Mario game. Ouch. That's a half painting. Hello, hello. Thank you, Pikmin, for 72 bits. Did you get them out of an advert? That's an oddly specific number. Tell me your context. Ah, oh, fuck. Can't do it. Gotcha. Is that the hard part? There's two of them in these bits? Okay. <coughs> Yes, it's, there's, there's two of them now. Oops! Not quite what I was hoping for, but you know that's cool. I forgot that's how it works. They call it a bit shaped numbers when you shot them, because it looks like a nine all the time. Oh, it's split in half? Or it's twice as long now? And it's doing its thing? Man, I suck now. Ooh, a close one. Real lucky you get to clip through each other, you know? Ooh, <laughs> Not very fun in VR. I'll tell you the plot. Okay, they do shoot things.
Why did this guy break the rule of three? Why did he two? I do not know. Oh, we're halfway done already. It's very odd, because when my friend finished the story, he had 115 moves to get. And I'm like, Ugh, already almost done. But I guess I did do a little bit of running around. This boss fight was cool. I did enjoy him. Yeah, I like the rain effects as well, the rain in the in the city. I don't think I have many major complaints about them, other than it's another centipede battle. But yeah, it's Mario. This is a self-referential Mario, you know? It does a lot of, like, creative things, but it does creative things with old things. Now, there's some new cr creatures, I imagine, but, like, they've just sort of reinvented the gameplay through it. Oh. Well, here's, here is Scooter. While I go to that last floor, I'm gonna have a fun too. Or I did, but I didn't properly interact with it. I didn't go through the thing with people? I don't remember. I do not want to race Cooper. I've lost my scooter. Dory, do you have anything to say? Let's swim together. Okay. How do I swim with you? I can't. You're just here. Okay. Am I hiking through this? Oh, it's this guy. This actually is a fun boss fight because I saw my friend play this. You hope they do DLC for this game? They did. Keep it looking out. The the Luigi Balloon one. That's what it was. Wow, I am just as bad as he was. He did the same mistake. But the guy goes forever as far as I can tell. Oops. So let's just play the game against the guy. I'm not allowed to go any higher than this. Apparently not. Okay. Why are you? Just a floating trophy cup around here. Is it required for him to spawn or something? I have no idea. Oh. They really fast. Oh, I'm not I'm supposed to actually get on this warpaint without the lava. I somehow thought there was only lava for it to work. get lower. That's all I need to succeed. I get that you don't want to die and all that, but like, physically cannot be. Oh. That's what I'm supposed to do in the- I don't know what he did, but alright. <laughs> he looks like quite the plus. <laughs> These bosses are so cinematic. You wish we got more kingdoms, honestly. I can see why. But these, got, these kingdoms have a lot of detail to them. Kind of. They're small, but they have lots of room to put banana- uh, moons everywhere. Sorry, it was yellow. Again. Thought it was bananas.
He goes on forever because it's raining. Was it that guy, or was it because it was raining in the city somewhere? Cool. Why does it take me out another warp pipe? Why could it just put me through the same warp pipe? Could they not? Could they not animate that properly? Ah oh, well, whatever. Right. This is probably our last stop in Mushroom Kingdom for a bit. We'll see. I forgot this, this boss fight. London one, I don't remember how it works. Ew. Okay, I'm getting faint memories. I forgot a lot of this game. I tweeted about it actually, so follow me on Twitter, you might have known this already, but I forgot a lot of what was actually in the game. I remember like scootering away from a T-Rex in the new Donk C. Probably because it was like an optional thing if I had to guess. Or I did it and forgot completely. The game's not as memorable to me as it is to a lot of other people. Uh. And I just, uh, I don't know. Maybe it is because I've only played once and I didn't grow, grow too attached. And I didn't hear the sounds of the whole thing. It also just seems a lot less memorable. It seems a bit bland and basic. So this is why I'm playing it now, to realise if that's true. Because like the way the gameplay works here, it's fantastic. There's all these different creative ways to play Mario. Great! This is a great way to expand gameplay gimmicks. And that's kind of all 3D Mario has been. They just put Mario on a new three on a new gimmick. Whether it's water-based or you know <laughs> that's a, that was the main one, the sunshine. Gal gravity based in galaxy and now it's Possession based, different gameplay controls, you know? The only, like, if you don't go for that kind of gameplay gimmick, then you get Super Mario 3D World. Where it's just platform. And I actually enjoy that. I really enjoy that. I remember not liking that gaming concept, as did everyone else when the trailer first came out, but you know what? That's a damn, a damn fine game. I'm looking forward to a sequel to that game Super Mario 3D World 2. And then they have to make eight of them and then special. Okay. I see the challenge in this boss fight. Also, I've been holding on this whole time. It doesn't feel like I'm dashing. Maybe because I think that's the normal speed. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh. What's with all the durians? Why did that one land perfectly? You hated this rematch, way too much stuff to watch out for. Why have the durians in a suit? Haven't you smelt them before? I haven't, but I've heard about it. Okay, cool. They are kind of eight, so they're not just going anywhere. How can you tell which ones have the thing in them? Can you try it? Oh, is it? No, it's the durians themselves. Okay, cool, there is a dashing. I just was holding it so that it stopped dashing. Interesting. <coughs> okay. The camera does not help with these uh, spinning ones, spinning hazards. Why does not just jumping up underneath them hurt them? Should do, shouldn't it? Full of fire in the luncheon suit. Don't. Oh, how did I know you would? I'm gonna get a heart instead. Thank you for all these bits. I will check them out in a moment. But like, is there no other option for health right now? No. One bit from Pikmin. Drinking. Why are you driving? Why are you drinking? Because I'm thirsty. Thank you for the seven bits. What are you drinking? Not why. This is black currant in a Zelda mug. With my Mario game. I've actually been ill this week. 
very like sluggish and slow and demotivated to move much. Um, and it's mostly been like a, well now the last couple of days it's just been in my throat, but I'm good enough that I can stream and I'm not in pain. It's mostly gone, like 99% clear. Oh hey, I need that heart in that suit suddenly. It's gone. Of course it is. Excuse me for bashing on rocks. There we go. Um, but yeah, started out with my head looks really dizzy for a day. Oh, there we go. Well, it's not pleasant, I'll tell you what. But I've been thinking a lot this week of what the point of that whole tangent was about. I don't know, that's why I always drink a ton anyway. Comes to black currently. Thankfully, it's pretty healthy. Everything else I could be drinking was worse. I'm like, except for water. Can't drink that stuff on its own. Oh, this one was supposed to be difficult because it was thin. I didn't even notice. Thank you, and goodbye. Oh, come on, these are some cheap shots. Why do you have perfect aim at this angle? Death. Come on! Yes! Good lord, that's a tricky one. Goodbye. Pikmin, sorry, Dad, you gotta go. That's okay. Thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you for all the bits this stream. I've definitely been appreciating it. As I just play and half enjoy Super Mario Odyssey. This, so I'm not enjoying the boss fights too much, but I'm enjoying the little exploring parts. I guess because I'm doing it in a casual setting more. I don't know. But... Huh. You can shake the joy to go faster. I think I've done that. Super Mario 3D Planet. Interesting, though part of Super Mario 3D World did take place in space. It does hurt if you jump underneath, you just barely miss it. Oh, damn. <coughs> okay, that's a solid 30 moons. Um, I don't know what the thing is with the sheep. You just bash it around. Is that the whole point? Baby penguin it? I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's actually go to the shop first. Where is said shop? It's like a shop to me. Oh, it's in the Toad Brigade shop. Shoot. I have 61 coins with which to... Ah, oh, hello. Ah, that's all. Ah, uh, yeah, and this is where you get the uh, things for the inside of ship. Sure, I'll take that. Why not? Do not care for the sticker though. Cool. Just about afford this. Not a fan of Super Mario. Well, I'm a fan of Super Mario 64, sure, but not a fan of just referencing it and I'm probably not going to wear it, is what I'm saying. Um, okay, sure. You know what? Actually, I will get changed. Happy's not too entertained. Hi, hi. Right, so one of these counts as one move. But all the other infinite ones, they don't. The other things I could buy. Oh, I like the Luigi and I like the skeleton. I can't afford the skeleton. Totally being Luigi the rest of the game. I don't 
don't want to get pumped every time. The Mario Sunshine one's cool. The Knights cool. There are some cool kits. I don't like the Brutal kits. I don't like the Brutals. Full stop. Brutals are boring. Ah, oh, seasonal. Eight bit cap. Interesting. Right. Okay. Let's go to that door, and then we're leaving. For like a whole one moon, and then we can get to the the dark side. Two places we're going. There's two places. All right. No, we're not, because this is a Yoshi thing. I didn't explore enough with Yoshi. I know, I know. Wow, that's how you do it. Oh, this is a thing I saw. Oh, uh, I just don't have good eyes, apparently. This is the... Oh, uh, gotcha. The good old days. Hmm. I just won, if not that. When Mario 64 come out? So wow, this is very referential. Hello. I'm not entirely, not entirely sure I remember that. I'll try again. Oh, that's that was the tip. I got my perspective wrong, right? I was like, it's this one or that one, but I didn't see the specifics. The Brutals are fine, they're just way too underutilized, might as well have been the Kooplings. Yes! Exactly! They... Uh, I don't like... Also, how they just appear twice, either... Uh, like... Uh, there should have been more to them. They're just not. They just felt like more Kooplings, yeah. Oh. Wow, I misread that. Swipping swaps on that. I'm not doing this again if I mess up, by the way. I don't know what the last one is. I'm gonna need a bit of help. You wanna be if they were Kooplings in the planning stage? Yeah, because there's. Well, there's seven Kooplings, aren't there? And I guess Bowser. So there was eight brutal fights. No, there wasn't. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Because the last one's the robot. Or was there nine? Oh, whatever. Holding Y and it just makes me grab pound. I have to do it. Do I have to press the Y button twice? I. How have I missed? How do I not do this right? Jump and throw your cap. Then while in midair, press ZL, which ground pounds, and hold Y at the same time. You pull it off, you'll right. So I'll only. Well, I guess I'll do it quickly. Okay, but also I can hold it and do it right. I start ground pounding and then I dive halfway through it. Oh, I do half the time. 
just mash them at the same time. That's what I've been doing. I've been mashing. I haven't pressed them at the same time. That's what it is. You don't even have to hold the white button. Man. Game sucks. <laughs> Press Y once you're in the ground pan animation. Really? That. Oh. Wow, it really is that simple. But I have no idea how I've been messing it up. Oh, because it's the same as the rolling one. Right. You can never hit that that hat once, twice, can you? But hey, at least I can dive now. That's nice. Way into the post game. Hello, Rope Snake. Oh, look at that. I am back. Welcome back with your two bits. I'm going to change to Luigi, and then we're going to see what we can what we can gather and do. Didn't even know that the Moonstones opened and gave you more moons, but that's what we're going with now. Green means let's go. Shame, shame doesn't actually turn me into Luigi, but you know, who needs it? We need 16 more. Why, why now are they added to the shop? Okay. We shall set sail for the land, which I will call. I'll do the Cascade Kingdom. I will go in chronological, but I just don't like the Cat Kingdom. That's just not my thing. Nile, the, the thing may be because it's in a USB 3.0 port, if I put it in any other port, it doesn't function. It says it has to be in a 3.0 port. I'll change it next stream and see how it goes. If not, you know, well. So yes, the moon rocks, they change everything. They open more power moons, which is kind of the funner part of the game, is you know, getting the things. A bit of a shame they were locked away until after the story's done. But, you know, whatever. This feels loud. The, the, this waterfall feels loud. Um, you're gonna do that. Yes, yeah, there is a power line. Thank you, housemate, for discovering that by accident. Alright, my, you know, I guess I. Oh, my fault, sure. There we go. Peaches here with the people every time. Yes. She's the explorer type now. She's become a bug Pokemon, not a fairy Pokemon. Actually, I did want to. I'm, I'm kind of impressed that I never went back to any of the boss sites because that's where all the all the things are. But oh well. Um, before I die, can I get no? The moon's way over there. The moon rocks way over there. Ugh. I'll probably just go straight for this moon. Is there a way to instantly turn the camera around? Nothing the wrist. No. It's a shame. It's a slow turning. I guess I could increase the sensitivity, but I bet I won't enjoy that either. I've only just worked out coins are supposed to be like Stone Age wheels. I'm a real dumb one. Hello! Shopnil4. Thank you for catching me live for once. Um, if you weren't aware, every Friday I've now been putting on my Dad's Play channel the archives of streams, doing it every Friday so it's kind of at the same pace of streams in real life, but a bit behind. 
They're supposed to be premiering. Last time it didn't work because it was still processing after like five hours. So it just it froze, broke, and gave only the default details, and then wouldn't let me change and update any of the details because it was premiering at the time. So I had to stop it premiering and make it all work again. But the next one will definitely work because it's already uploaded. And then, you know, if you miss a stream, you can catch them on YouTube. Or they're all saved on Twitch anyway. I think I'll stop saving them on Twitch and only put them on YouTube. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, you don't have Cappy to help. I just realised. Okay. Lovely. Triple jump. Uh, there's another one right here. I remember you. The joys of watching a housemate play. No. Uh, that's the B button. Why does the B button make me drop down? Am I seriously? No, that's not what the B button. The B button's for dropping. <laughs> Next to the stone arm. Every power moon rock to chew a power moon pipe. I didn't actually know it was here, but it's nice to know. L and R quick turns camera. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> that makes life a little easier. Well, not not for this context, but every other one. Cool. I do like in these underground sections, the ground is kind of liquidated. I like that a lot. Whoops! Alright, and... Thank you. A secret block? Is that the... Well. Probably. Or is that like the block that's holding us up? And I can't tell. Wow. I'm getting way good for this. I'm not. Oh, it's way up there. It's How do you get bashed onto a cloud? Also, I just realized Shop sent 10 bits. Thank you very much. And Rope Snake with 5 bits. What's your favorite 3D Mario? Probably Super Mario Galaxy 2, 1 or 2. Um, Sunshine, after hearing all the criticisms people had, I was like, oh, wow, you're right. So, um, it used to be Super Mario Galaxy 2. But, like, I do realise it's a flawed game. I kind of said no on that one a bit more. Oh. You know what? I'll just set with this one. Who needs every moon in the world? Right. I will settle for none. That's cool. No one needs need to win every time. How close are you to 100%? Not very. Uh, we need 16 more. We need 12 more to go to the next. There is. And then you need. We need. Uh, 262 more to get to the last kingdom. But then there's 999 uh, moons in the whole game. I don't know how many we actually have. Um, so wait, how many do we have? We have 12 short of 250, which gives us uh, 248 and then 238. We have 238 out of 999. Oh dear, so that's 71, 771. We need 771 more moons to get to 100% of the game. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, the idea is that. Oh, 
Hey look, I found the fucking other world. Oh, that was a big complaint I had. My housemate accidentally found the Mushroom Kingdom portal. Why is there a portal to the post-game? That's a spoiler. I take that as a spoiler. Thank you very much. The notes are 8-bit and they play like 8-bit. Good, good attention to detail, I like it. There are more than 999 moon, the Odyssey just cats at that. Because this spoils the Bowser's castle in the first, second kingdom you go to? Uh, okay. A lot of moons don't count, right? But there's 112... Am I right in saying there's 112 in the stores? Or is there unlimited in the stores? But only one of them counts? So not that? Wow. I guess you see breathing like that. Yeah, Bottom of the waterfall, back. This waterfall is loud. The other waterfalls are loud, but good lord. Oh, yes, of course. No cat. You know, I kind of forget that piece. I do have to just do it the normal way, huh? Mario. You are not not good at not wall jumping, are you? Oh hey look, I match. I better well hope this platform's clean anyway. Buy a moon from you. Oh, wall jumps don't work. What again? Without the cap? Because that doesn't need a cap. What was the new click? There was not. Oh, okay, like this. What gear was it then? Didn't want to tell you. Okay. I guess I can buy some stuff here, actually. Whoops! That is some cool gear, I must admit. Yeah, I don't need the mount. Luigi is dead, apparently. That's the theme now. Oh, he's got hair. Why have you got- oh, because it's a cape. I thought he was just going to wear the skull. Be like Cubone. I have seen this one too, I'm afraid. I'll sneak spoilers. I wasn't even living that long, I think. Well, maybe I was hanging around. I was probably eating. It was like two days ago. This is actually a good go to background game. Just play in the background. You know? So, what? Every underground area has two underground areas. Underground boot moons. Because there's that one. I don't think I saw the other one. Maybe it did. Going far away from gusty bridges. Oh, that's a major complaint I have. I do not like the font for these moons. I tell you what, it just looks like it, it always looks like it's on a demo. Like when I saw this in the demo, I was like, oh, that's that's a black looking text. I hope they change that, or I imagine they, I bet they will. They didn't. Just bland, bold, white text. No shadowing, no outlining. It's just there. Yeah, I saw the guy die here. That's all I, all I remember. And like, it was just like, it's minimalistic and modern, and I don't like it. 
because there are areas where you can't see the text. How about this area? Okay, there's a little bit of shadowing around it. There, are, there, are, There's one in the Wooded Kingdom when you bloom a bunch of flowers, you can't read the text because it's on the background of a bunch of white flowers. One, two, three, four, five, I need one more. One more for the new kingdom, eh? I'm sure I can work that out real soon, right? Yeah, there we go, there's probably some. There's another one, okay, we'll go with that one, easier. Okay, it wasn't. Thank you, helped me get that last coin, accidentally. Just another. Oh, it's the same again. Now that's that's the that's the movement of of success. Thank you, Rope Snake, for joining us. Thank you for ten bits. Goodbye. We shall see you another stream. Hopefully. I hope you're streaming every year week. I will probably, I might play more Super Mario Odyssey. We'll see how the dark side goes. Or I might just get more moons for the fun of it. This is the more fun part of the game. All through eight, eight hours, I could do more. Oh, I need 16 more. I've only got 12. Never mind. Yeah, this is basically blind. Um, I don't know the post game. I played the story, didn't like it a year ago. Now I'm back doing more things. I want to go to do something completely blind, a place that my housemate hasn't gone, or I didn't see him go to. Seems like yeah, sure. That's a nice one. You could just do Luigi's Balloon World, it's easy. That that give you loads of moons? I thought that was just coins and like a optional DLC thing. <coughs> I could be wrong, but that's how I figured it was. That old draw distance? Yeah. Hello, Scout main guy. You know where the moon rock is? Because I apparently do not. So there's all sorts of kingdom like conversion. It's very much Galaxy 2, or Galaxy 1 ending. Galaxy 
uh, Super Mario Sunshine reference right now. I got on face turf. Uh, oh. Pretty much. It's supposed to be the. It's supposed to be a reference to the teeth guy, Mr. and Mrs. Ill. Half male, half female. He cleans teeth. I feel like it is. I was past him. Well, that sure was fun. I'm really not liking this kingdom as much as the last one. They're not going to say, oh, there's the, a the rock moon here. Did anybody do it, maybe? Thank you very much. This is fun. I imagine there's a lot of room to make some interesting, like, designs. With uh, just the way the game works out. Well, I did think he survived more than I did. there and it was like, no, it doesn't exist. So, I am concentrating. At least a little bit. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's helpful. I never got to do motion controls the first time I played, because I died. Now I can do it a bit more. I'm not a giant fan of it though, I guess. But you know, whatever. Right. One more moon, and then let's get on with our lives, shall we? died before I got to it, so we'll go for that one. <laughs> so now from a speed run, not a speed run, a video of a guy not playing the game. Playing the game without seeing or hearing it. How I got to it, but okay. Wow, Cappy, spoiler. 
Like, did we know that's where we were going to go next? I don't think we did. Damn it, Cappy. I do really enjoy this Super Mario 3 sound effect, though. Try to be cool. You always use motion controls? The switch it feels a bit weird. I can get behind the Wii's and the Wii U's easily. The switch is a bit iffy. Also, right on the halfway mark of this stream, an hour and a half into it, we're ready for the dark side. Now come up. Yeah, that's not much of a dark side. I know there's another off. Still. Let's see what you got. Same shot on the moon, I'm guessing. Probably. What if I'd gone from the moon to the moon? Should have done that last time. Oh, oh no, I don't think. Yes, Cappy was there last time, of course. I assume that was a good one to skip. I don't know. Maybe not. Well, this sure looks pretty. Hello, dog. Thank you for joining us in here. Luigi is man enough for this. Thank you very much. He's known for about the dark side for a while. Can't interact anymore? Okay. We just stole a dog with us. Buddies with bat other bats, of course. Because this is all a bat, a rabbit themed kingdom. Oops, I slightly broke the game. That's cool. Alright, go on. Throw me off. We'll be in Lava Land. My worstest dreams. It is the worstest dreams. It's another brutal fight. Oh. I mean, I guess I could have been best. Interesting the second time. I could not tell. Well, I was lucky. Bunny out of all the other bunnies in this kingdom. At least the others are fast. You know what though, this is a fun way to try and avoid a boss. Just the fact that it's just a little bit everywhere. It's like someone made a custom map. A custom boss. It sounds like a rabbit. <laughs> and his attack gets weaker. I like it. Oh, 
was a fairly fun fight, if not just because it was chaotic. But okay. I should guess I should give the game that. It's a boss run of brutals, is it? Now in space with a third in in incarnation, reincarnate incarnation of them, or something. It's a natural boss run where, well, am I gonna like have to go for all of them again if I lose? I guess that makes sense. It's supposed to be the dark side. It's supposed to be hard. I guess I forgot that bit. Oops. Is the other one missing? Oh, he is! Her screeching was fun though. Let's hear it. It's not that simple, is it? We're gonna do something else. Sure. Yeah. This one. Are oh, you gonna hit back at her? Well, I'll never find out. What, do you take me back to the beginning? Can I learn how to play this properly? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's go do. So what? The dark side is just one hard challenge. I mean, I guess I can uh, I guess I should have guessed that. But then you need another 250 to get to make. Well, I can get that everywhere else. I can't tell. Can you get in position perfectly in the center? Oh no, it just boosts them off faster. Oh no! Why didn't you do that the first time I fought you? How do I? All right, just take me out. I'm disappointed that the guy hurts me. So I have a secret plan. I'm feeling a bit of sore in my throat. So I'm going to this time. I'll fight the man per usual, but I'm gonna have a lozenge, so I won't be able to talk much. Not that I was before, but
<laughs> they do one more life than before. You can teleport to the Odyssey, and then you can regenerate. You sure about that? I'm doing alright for now. If I'm on one health, I'll try it, I guess. Because otherwise I'm basically dead. Oh, I can't actually fall off. Ah, interesting. It's not glass. Just an invisible wall. This bit. I wish I could have enjoyed that the first time. Freaky screaming he's got going on. Fire. I'm not thinking like much he does. Fast though, yes. Ah, put them away from me. The fire doesn't hurt her, so help. Oh wow, I'm bad. one <sighs> I'm using joy cons in case you were wondering I haven't been clicking my mouth too much with this orange I might have been fine but <laughs> only just realized I was in focus mode excuse me Shouldn't have skipped him. He had stuff to say. Oh no! I realise who he is. But I did see my housemate fight him recently. So I remember how he fights. Moving, isn't he? Only in UFO mode. Ah, 
How do I make it go sideways? Ah, oh, just lock it on. Wow, he was even easier. <laughs> You like this fight? It's got it's got the joy of Super Mario Sunshine in it, but it's a bit annoying with his poison. I would say. But then I did see the frustration of seeing my housemate try and fight. And that was yeah. Okay. Final brutal. Two health. Let's see where this goes. It's long it's Mr. Longman. I forgot how it goes. I feel like I died to him. Normally. Then there's a fifth one on there. What do you have to say? Uh Right, he's Mr. Sawblade. I still don't actually remember, like, you completely unmemorized him. Non memorable fight, I must say. Is that all there is to him? What have I missed? I don't remember the fight in him. My own lack of me- oh. Because I wasn't high enough before with the gravity. That's uh... Foolish. Trying to jump at jump man? Well now, I figured I would still have momentum going forwards, but apparently not. The timing was off with everything. He has a long waiting time though, given that. He's great at patience. Damn it! <sighs> okay. Well, I got. Oh. That's a bit of a dumb thing. That you're not high enough. I guess you have to be drilling as well for some reason. Whatever. I've done it before, we can do it again. Ironic, the first guy is the hardest. is one of those hats, right? It must have been one of those two hats. I don't think you can interrupt them. He does multiple spins. Oh, I could land him. That makes things a lot less scary. The spikes mean nothing. Right. I will try my technique and see if it heals me, yeah? That's not the button.
misses. How do you heal? Is there health back here? I assume I don't want to unload it? Like how, how do I heal? being inside heal you or something? I need an explanation. Oh, it won't let me go back now. Well. I will have no answers. Noted. <laughs> No one knows how to reach out. I'll just go back to the You didn't need the extra help for this lady anyway. <coughs> ah, what do you know? It, I assumed it was a glitch, but no. Or like, could some of that work? Or they'd be like, ah, oh, he's back. Even easier. Yeah. Sound like he said Bowser then. Oh, I can't hear him. Huh. All right, Kathy, can you like open me a path? I personally think it'd be very. Automatically just does it anyway.
Okay. Goofy's next. Let me work out a regen. First of all, let me just check there's nothing around us that I've somehow missed. Oh, I can actually get up here. Now. I imagine there's not much to see other than the insides, but that's you know, cool. There's a giant carrot piece here. Orange? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my veg. The inside heals me, maybe? Does it all for me? So, like, was this their home? They lived on the moon. I don't know. This is going to be a long run for a minute. Well, I feel like the, the darker, darkest side, darker side, is going to be more, um, more like the finale of Super Mario Galaxy 2. That's what I was expecting for this, honestly. I guess it makes sense because there is two of them. I don't know these things. There's very peaceful but kind of generic music going on. Oh, they really uh, they really get you down for trying to regen. Well, for regening. This will be the part everyone skips. Well, maybe they'll come into the part now where they stop skipping. In which case, hello. And if you're not there yet, then hello. Right back to where we were before. But heck, I mean, it got me with a cheap hit last time and it put me on one health left, so it could be worse. Wow. Take my distance. Oh, you know what? He's a little horrifying when I must have. I don't get how this one was harder than the last one. But okay. And that was way easier for your time. And now, Mama Bruno. Possibly. With the chain chops. My guess. Or we're done. That do. Right near the top. Ooh. Thank you very much. Apparently we need it. Time for the boss fight on top of it all. A new brutal? A new rabbit? I don't know. 
It's a big one. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Hew, hew, hew. Oh, they all had their own parts. So as long as we can release the bird guys again, that'd be great. Or do we not have to, because we have anti-gravity. Do fireworks even work on the moon? I guess they'd be bigger. Oh, the anti-grav actually does make this a little bit more harder to tell. Oh, that empty square portable? I'm not sure what it's asking. Ah. Oh, Jesus! Thank you, your buzz, for the follow. I'm still just trying to work out. What me here. Oh, it looks like it's got an extra out. I guess it doesn't. Some are fired and some are not. Some are duds. I don't know what it's asking. I really can't tell. Do I just have to throw up? Talk to them because I've got extra height and hammer bro. Here. Okay. Oh, you put down the leg. a lot more fun, I think. I like the Hammer Bro. He's fun. Alright. This part's not so... Well, no. It's not fun. Dental steps. Oh, great! I'll get extra coins by going to the seaside kingdom. That's great. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll have an easy time right now. Oh, if I didn't have to deal with any of you. And that's his own. Damn it. That's bloody disappointing. Alright, I'm only I guess I'm only doing this one more time. It's just a bit tedious. Because it's not like rewarding me for difficulty, it's rewarding me for longevity and endurance. It's not a hard, quick fight. Ugh. Took away Thank <laughs> you. 
but the other three, like, can't hurt me anyway. Right. This one for half an hour. I bet it's just a multi moon. Ugh. Oops. These ones don't miss. Well, she can miss horribly, but that's it. These are all unskippable. These little uh, post cutscenes. So I've realised, the point of me starting this stream, and like, the reason I'm playing this game again is because I wanted to realise, will I actually like this game? And I'll tell you, I had fun the first half. Getting around just getting random moves, that is enjoyable. When I'm not being like, pushed to go in all these different corners and just explore, not bad. Mostly because the moves I was going for were easy as well, which just like, nice, simple... The moment I actually got to the bit, the, the bit I was aiming for, the goal... I'm not impressed, really. I have high hopes for the darker side. But like, this is just as bad as the first eight hours. Where it's just kind of... It sounds like it's filling a quota. It's just kind of padding. It's like, oh, we need a hard... But how do we do that? Oh, we'll just do this most basic programming where we bring the fights that we've already made, put them a little harder, and we'll add no checkpoints. There you go. Has added another hour or two of content from a five minute tweak on code. I had to build the, the kingdom. That seems far, but. It's just not entertaining. Nice and there's difficulty, but like, not very it's, not, it's not even that it's difficult, it's just tedious and long to do. Mess up, then it, the difficult part is not not cutting the game off now, and stopping playing. 
Khan part is not leaving the kingdom out of frustration. <laughs> All right. beyond the poison. He just walks. Ugh. Bad boss, bad enemy. Why did I have to fight him three times? <laughs> I'm gonna have to end up um, watching someone play the sea from the beginning so then I can write my proper critique list. I probably will still make this video. I think even if I do enjoy the darker side I'll probably make it anyway. It's a video topic. Controversial. Everyone loves negativity. We're in a society that loves negativity. My views that are negative get more viewers faster than the ones that are positive. But they cut off because mine are so negative and controversial that people dislike it so much that then stop getting views. Like, they just like the 50 bit. Just hold my stick still. Well, that was getting something. Okay. I do actually enjoy this fight. I enjoy playing as a hammer bro. Throwing the hammers. I'm probably gonna actually go for the legs like normal. Not just the guys on the side as I jump. That was me trying to have fun. More fun than I was expected to have. Let's do it. These hammer bros are pretty useless anyway in the anti party Unless I'm trolling them. That's why I should just go for this one from the side, actually, because that's where it belongs. So if you're sort of like, you know, obviously you were helping Bowser, you can clearly see you. But if you're anti-Bowser, why would you be anti-Hanger? Why wouldn't you be anti hammer Because they're not anti-Bowser. Give us a stampy face, please.
I'm supposed to be here like holding the stable? Hmm. Off position, but alright. That's supposed to be him being damaged, but okay. What's his final thing? Hammers have normal gravity when you're hot, but okay. <laughs> I'm a bit I did enjoy that fight. Way easier though. <laughs> Doing it the normal way. Same animation as last time. What do you know? It's my favourite thing in the game. <laughs> hey! That's dark side, dark side done. The dark side needs another 250 moons. Guess if I had played the fun part of the game. Arrival at the edge. Is there more? Oh. Who gave you that? What's down there now? Oh, there's an immediate spark pulse there. Okay, cool. Sure. Wow, there was one in the big old circle, huh? What a surprise. Real challenging fun stuff in, shall we? Ooh, Yoshi. Two, I guess. Sure. Oh, that was enough. Okay. Come on, Yoshi. Playing it safe, oh no, I oh know. Yoshi's tongue is not very good. <laughs> It does. It does. Trust the game. And then there's some up there. Which I have 
not quite worked out. Ah. That's a bit of a weird one. I must say. the other secret coin block. Come on. Must be more than this. Or is it on the other side? Ah. <sighs> Were I using the double life? Nope. Just played it normally. What is, what is this? We taught this? I don't ever remember being taught that, but okay. <laughs> take us to a pipe, because of course it does. Or is it spot the difference kind of deal there? I'm not quite really sure. I do not spot it. Straight away. I will in a moment. Maybe. Or people will get too bored and Tell me not to. Eh, I'll leave it be. Here you go. I can do it my own time another day. Yes, Toad? Wow, what a number. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll do a little bit more exploring and I'll do some more classical explaining of what I'm up to. But first, I'm going to go. So I'll be back in a moment. And don't worry, I, I have a B right back screen which apparently chose the game. Interesting. Okay. I do not remember setting it up, but we'll be back in a sec. <laughs> it also jumped cut instead of faded, but oh well. In a
and I return. Hello, everybody. Are you ready for a little bit more Super Mario Galaxy? I am. Ready for the more fun part. Let's go to normal screen. Oh, that one fades through. The other one doesn't. But also, now all my elements disappeared. That's fun. Hello, supercomputer virus. Have you come to taunt me, the computer virus? Have you ever heard that one before? I bet you haven't. Right, can we have that thing pop up for us, please? Lovely. And I think that's everything fixed. Cool. Back to the live part. <laughs> so. I'm going to go through this game a bit chronologically now. Going back for all those moons that I missed and or just... Not not going for 100% or anything, but, you know, just look at lingering, lingering around. I was not a fan of this world when it first popped into me, my, my existence in life. Popped into my life. It was a weird phrasing everything. And I don't know why exactly. It just, um, I like my ghost worlds, but this isn't it. I don't know, I was, it was just like, yeah. And then when I heard the music, even when I heard that, and I didn't hear the music when I first played, but when I heard it the second time, I was like, is this just like a Tim Burton film? I didn't, just didn't like it. I uh, like, the background's cool. I love that triangulation thing. I bet it's probably just a skybox that literally just triangulates like it does. Why is there a, oh, I guess that is a, sun, a big yellow moon. That would make sense, never mind. Come on, something about it just is like, yeah. This kingdom is also just a kind of a path. And I mean, I get it's a tutorial thing. Just didn't rub on me nicely. My least favourite one to go to, I guess. Can't do too much about that. Hello, Kiki. Ow. Ah. The box screwed me over last minute. Do I still have that key? There doesn't really seem more going on though. I do like that. I like the the element of everything going on. Doesn't the moon just put you at ease? Yeah, but not when it's a giant honking moon. On death. Doing that quite a lot. I mean, I guess everything's just a hack. Even the coins, it just feels a bit uninspired. But I guess it's a wholly, it's a wholly original one. A house made out of hats. I guess that's fun. Getting that, getting that perfect shot of the big hat with the moon over it. Sounds great. Like, eh. Okay. Oh, they're like here. I need to be to get that that one good. I'm not quite at the right angle, I guess. Somehow. Seeing these moons in the background, they're a lot more interesting to me. Getting vibrations, are you telling me it's underneath us here? Maybe not. I'm at the right angle, but not the right not the right depth, apparently. Hmm? Who knows? Well, actually I mean he specifically knows. So go on. Skimming the poison tide. Thank you for the name. Have a handful of hats. Very boring. But I, uh, I don't need to use them, it's fine. I already have it. Oh, 
Oh, did I already block the moon rock, I guess? Apparently I did. This will be way more interesting when I get to be a Paracoopa. Paracoopa. I already did this as well. Excuse me. I literally forgot that. I forgot that the moon rocks did anything. I, I thought I could do it the first time when my housemate did it. Apparently not. Oopsie doopsie. That moon is very in your face. Mario, do you have to do that every time? I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Looks like there's big ruins, huh? Okay. No, I'm pretty sure you're, all, you're appearing all of them at the same time. Alright. This area is too spacious, I feel. Like, I just kind of not got a lot to do and wait for everything to go by. Frog. That's what that tells me. Yep. Platform frogs. Can't look at that because I am a Goomba. I'm doing my best for everything else. Even when there's loads of moons everywhere, I'm just not interested in this one. Danger sign. Perfect place. Wow, you can tell how interested I was in this kingdom. Never got the first three coins. that guy. None of these moons, even when I'm on the map, just like, mm, uh, okay. Oh. Right, I think I'm done with the Cap Kingdom. It wouldn't even give me the joy of me just straight to the Odyssey this time. Ugh, boring. Too big, too empty, too slow. Nope. Get my, get my moon and get out of here. Please. Oh, thank you. I'm not even gonna spend these hats. What's next? Cascade we already did that one. Sand Kingdom. Ooh. Yeah, this one's not too bad. Big open fun. I don't think I liked it that much as when I first went to it. And the music is a bit boring and slow. I think. It's not the worst. I've been here a while though. I remember exploring this during the thing. Moon rock is yes. Moonrock, there's a few. 
There's a few, yes. Some right nearby. I'll go for those ones, thank you. You think the food was killed during excitement for this trick, right? That's really bad. Like, that's the thing we were waiting for. And it just disappointed. You know? Like, what a failure of a kingdom. I'd like to see someone do this without looking at the things. Getterman. Oh, panic me. See you later, Fang! Oh dear. Wonderful face to witness. Cool. That's another two moves. And it's just nearby. Doesn't really look like it. Okay. Then we'll go here for another two. Is there multiple pipes? Or is it just the two that I'd missed? Oh, wow, there's multiple pipes. I did not know. Is it because this place is so big? Ooh. This looks like a Yoshi kind of arm. Basically. Secret one. That's pretty cool though. I must say. Ah, hidden key. I'll remember it for next time. Womp womp. Found it. The harder path. Gotcha. Damn. <laughs> I did everything right. Except for grabbing the key bit. But I'll tell you what, it's fun. I do enjoy this kind of run and gun level. I feel like this would be great for customizing, like mods. Put, create your own. Because with all the options of all the enemies, someone would have come up with something way more like creative. Okay, doesn't know what to find catch. Noted.
<laughs> Get ourselves some coins. Thank you. What else does the map say? Hmm. I'm still trying to think what's my actual opinion on the game. I <laughs> still don't know. This game plays like a hard bargain for both. Enjoying the game and not. Thank you, ominous silence. I'm gonna go for the two uh, the two things over here, if I may. Oh, wow. Lovely. This might, I might make this our final little thing. It seems like people are kind of bummed out after the anti-climax that was supposed to be the climax of this stream. Um, I might do another one next week though for the exact same formula. Where I'll click the balloons, more this time and end it on the darker side, which will hopefully have a nice climax at the end of the game. And by then I'll have formulated opinion, a proper one, and then I can be like, hey, I still don't like Mario Odyssey. Or maybe I do. I don't know. That's what we could... So I'll make this my final little trip, and then we'll get with our days. That is really disappointing, because I actually had to turn out... I've been having high hopes. I've been looking at this, you know, as positive a light as I can, at least. Like, I'm trying to make two. And the game was literally just like, no, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna, not gonna make a good argument for ourselves. Is what we're gonna do. Boom. Where's the secret? No idea what the fuck is. Oh, who needs it? Okay. Right, that is gonna be us done. That is us meeting the halfway mark of this journey. Still gonna touch the whole rest of the desert, I think. But I think I'll be calling it a day from here. I hope you've enjoyed. I've uh, <laughs> I've experienced some things, worked out a little bit more of my opinion on S not Smash. This is Super Mario Odyssey. I probably still don't like it. There's a lot of qualms it's got. Maybe next time I'll write up my whole list, see where it goes. But otherwise, I will be getting it off here. My name's been Daz. You don't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. And we got any dramatic music to end this on? So here's a slightly suffering Mario. See you later, people. That's almost background music, sure.